Hi, Gemini. Hi, Libra. Welcome. This is Gemini and Libra love tarot reading. This is Gemini and Libra relationship tarot reading. This is Gemini and Libra compatibility tarot reading. This is a Gemini dealing with a Libra in love. Um, so this is going to be the divine masculine aspect of the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. This is the divine feminine aspect of the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. And this is the spirit guide attached to your relationship. I know many, many, many Gemini Libra couples. And let me tell you, they are some of the funnest couples to be around. They want to, they want friends. So a Gemini Libra couple, they want to have friends around. They want to be everybody's friend. They're such a fun couple. Like you can, you go places together, you party together. Just a really fun couple. Both of you are air signs. Um, so being air, there's a lot of change, a lot of movement, a lot of communication, a lot of socialization. Libra is very diplomatic, and Gemini is um, very very adaptable and versatile and alert, especially being a mutable sign. Just a very, I, I feel like it's a very fun, good couple, but it seems like they're always breaking up. Like I always hear about them on, off, on, off, on, off. Um, every, every single time that I hear about a Gemini and Libra relationship, I actually have a Gemini moon and my first boyfriend was a Libra. He is a, I have a Pisces sun, Gemini moon, and he was a Libra sun, Pisces moon. So, go figure. Yeah, it was, we always had people around us. It was, it was really fun. All right, now I'm not taking three. I want one. One card for the Gemini, Libra. Thank you. All right, so there's some envy here underlying this. I do see a path. There is a pathway to happiness. I see there's decisions that need to be made. There's decisions that need to be made for a new beginning to happen. But I do see there's a potential of a new beginning here. It hasn't quite manifested yet, but there's an underlying negative energy of envy but the road is open so we can make this happy this is the divine feminine aspect of the gemini libra relationship dynamic gemini libra three cards for gemini libra please three cards someone wants to come out first Two more cards for the Gemini Libra relationship. Thank you. Right, one more card. One more card. No, I'm not taking all that. One more card. One more card. Thank you. Oh. There's heartbreak. That's what it wants to be seen first. In the masculine aspect. There's some heartbreak here. Now with the masculine and feminine, um, now don't take it like if you're a girl, you have to be the feminine aspect of the relationship because I was born a female. I identify as a female. And um, in a relationship reading, I actually identified as the divine masculine in that reading because I was more of the giver. The masculine energy is the giving energy, while it's the feminine energy is the receptive. If you think of like electricity, you have the plug and the outlet, and the plug is the male and the outlet is the female. Two cards for the masculine aspect of the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. Two cards. Thank you. I need one more card. One more card for the Gemini. One card. Thank you. So there could be a pregnancy in the future. Um, that's definitely there in the masculine aspect. 
there's a lot of envy. These colors kind of go go along with like the yellow and the yellow. I, I see that there's happiness in the masculine aspect of this relationship no matter what. There's growth. There's something beautiful. There's a potential of pregnancy. It doesn't have to be. It could just be growth. There's definitely growth here in the masculine aspect of this relationship. And I see that, you know, in the past, there's heartbreak here. This is totally in your energy, though, with it being swords, which is air. This is on both of your life path. It could be either one of you. This cuts deep. You know, the heartstrings, they really, um, Maribel, DeSalva, hi, they, they really run they really run run deep. There's a lot of pain here in the masculine aspect of this. But I see the future. Look at the future here. You have the world. But both of you are very uncomfortable in this energy. This is a very stable, practical energy. Um, there's a lot of emotion here. And I feel I feel like you're you're just very uncomfortable in this in this energy but i see that you know it is there going forward in the past the fe feminine aspect of this uh there was decisions that they had to make they were blinded by these decisions you know they didn't know which door to take there was explosive t potential here but they didn't want to see they didn't want to use their intuition or their eyes there was just some painful decisions that needed to be made. And it broke the masculine's heart. Let's go into the mirror. I feel like going into the mirror. Now, this is always the best part of my readings because this is where we go deeper and where we make changes. So you always want to stay for when we go in the mirror. Come with me and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. All right, so this is the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. This is the masculine aspect of this relationship. This is the more happy Thanksgiving marble. Happy Thanksgiving, Marba de Salva. Um, so this is the masculine aspect of the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. This is the feminine aspect of the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. This is the spirit that's guiding this. It's being guided by envy, which is a very negative, ne very negative. But we have two here, two crowning this and zero, which is a new beginning. So there's decisions. We have two over here in the feminine aspect. There's decisions. Decisions were made. We have the three of swords. So we have decisions that were made that broke the masculine's heart, ripped to shreds. There's a lot of pain. And this is in the past. This is in the past. Okay, look, we have a beautiful future. It's right here. The door's wide open. Do you see how these colors? We have a beautiful future in the masculine. It starts out very painful with a lot of painful decisions. I see that... There was the, the feminine aspect just gave up. They were overwhelmed in this relationship. It's too much for them to bear. They're being guided away. And they're blocking. There's a block. There's a physical block here. It could be um, there's a communication block. There's a lack of progress block. There's a physical boundary that's separating the masculine and feminine aspect of the Gemini Libra relationship dynamic. There's a physical block. We can't get past this barrier. They're being guided elsewhere out of this relationship. They're being guided out of this relationship into the light. Do you see right here? Look at this doorway. 
right here. They're being guided. It's completely black here, completely black block. Over here, we have that same darkness, and then we have the light, and they're being guided. Do you see how they're being guided out here? And then it's, they're pointing the way, and they're being guided here, and there's a pathway. There's a pathway here. So they're being guided out of this relationship. So there's a lot of conflict here, and, you know, I see that there was emotions, definitely some, some emotions. There's a lot of sadness on the masculine aspect of this. There's somebody who's focused on the past, very regretful, very regretful. They're trying to peer in. Do you see how the portal's open here, but there's a complete block on the feminine aspect? So the portal's open here, and there's a lot of uh, conflict, emotional conflict. They're trying to get in, but the feminine aspect is just out. They've put up a block. There's a boundary here. There's a massive boundary that they cannot get through. And they're trying, they're trying their hardest to get through to this because they want growth. They want happiness. They want to be back together again. I see that this is over. The feminine aspect, it's just over. The feminine aspect, this is a major life event, and they're transforming. There, there's transformative change. There's a rebirth. Out with the old, in with the new. Accepting and releasing. Not holding on to this. Not holding on to this. Just letting go and letting be. And there's a lot of growth on the masculine aspect. These are two major life events right underneath of each other both in the upright you're being guided out the masculine is being guided out and the feminine is transforming into uh, something beautiful if you stay in the cocoon you're going to die you have to release yourself from this in order to fly we can make some changes okay there's one place that we can make a change. We can't change the past. These decisions were made. It cut deep. There was a lot of pain. Okay. So yeah, we can make some changes right here, right now. And it's on the feminine aspect. They can unblock. They can open up communication. They can open up communication. They can allow the divine masculine to now come in and guide this and lead this. But what's going to happen? This is going to trickle down. And the divine feminine is now in a very negative energy where they're in the cocoon, refusing to escape, and they're slowly dying. They're refusing to accept change, and they're obsessed. They're in a very negative, envious energy, and they're unable to get on that pathway to beauty. And the masculine aspect is not growing. It's very unproductive. There's a lack, a lack of development. It's manipulation. Somebody who's very, very um, lazy, lethargic, manipulative. There's affairs. There's neglects, neglect. There's immaturity when this reverses. Is that, I mean, if that's what you want, that's what you can have. You know, but I, I see that you're being divinely guided out of this. And I am sorry. I know that it's very, I could see right here how painful this is. This is very painful. This cuts deep. But if it, do, if it doesn't happen this way, we end on a very bad, I mean, this is ugly. This is ugly. So I feel like the feminine has to keep these boundaries up. Transform. Come out of their cocoon, fly away, let this die, so something new can come in, so we can get onto this pathway, this beautiful pathway, have a brand new beginning, and allow the divine masculine to grow, to nurture.
All right. So if you en if you enjoyed that and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, please like, comment, share. That does help support this channel. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today.